suspect arrested is the Grand Rabbi's own butler, and police say the fiery religious dispute is all over the victim's decision not to worship at the main Hasidic synagogue in the Insular Village. News Phil's Robert Wolf is in New Square tonight with an update on this bizarre story for us. Robert. And Brian, we're standing across the street from the main synagogue here in New Square, where many in this community worship under Grand Rabbi David Twersky. But the victim in this arson attack did not, and that's why some believe he may have been targeted. But the question tonight is, is his alleged young attacker, did that person act on his own volition, or was he acting under orders from the Grand Rabbi? Is the Grand Rabbi is available to talk to the news? No one here at the synagogue in New Square where Rabbi David Twersky heads this Hasidic congregation had any information on where their leader is. But 18-year-old Shaul Spitzer, the young man who allegedly carried out the arson attack that injured 43-year-old Aaron Rottenberg Sunday, works as the Grand Rabbi's butler. Hasidic journalist and public relations consultant Yossi Gestetner says Spitzer was one of three. The butler would be like a congressional page on Capitol Hill. It pretty much, you know, run a little bit uh, work for the rabbi in the house in terms of making sure there's always uh, food around, the place is clean. Spitzer was arraigned at a Manhattan hospital this morning. He's been charged with attempted murder, arson, and assault. He suffered burns to his arms and hands in the 4 a.m. attack on Rottenberg's porch. Ramapo police say a videotape from the victim's surveillance camera shows a man outside just before it happened. Spitzer allegedly brought a flammable fluid to torch the house. When the victim tried to stop him, they both caught fire. Family and friends believe Rottenberg was targeted because he did not pray at the community's main synagogue run by Rabbi Twersky. But the attack was denounced by the community and the synagogue in this statement posted on the synagogue's door. They are strongly condemning this act or any act of violence regardless in which uh, way, shape, or form. As for the possibility that Shaul Spitzer acted on the order of the Grand Rebbe, Yossi Kostetner thinks that's unlikely. Him being a butler in his capacity is very limited in terms of having a direct interaction with the rabbi, certainly on a regular basis, certainly on a, any decision-making decision, decision making, uh, you know, point. Now, Shaul Spitzer's bail has been set at $300,000. Ramapo police tell us they have not yet spoken to the Grand Rebbe, but they fully intend to as part of their investigation. 